Quite often in computing exams, you're expected to calculate the size of a file, usually an image or a sound file. So you might end up with a question, uh, something like this. So an image measures 2000 pixels by 1000 pixels and uses 24 bits per pixel for color. So how big are we going to expect the file to be? So the first thing we do is we calculate how many pixels there are going to be. So there's going to be 2000 times 1000 pixels. Uh, so if you multiply those together, that is 2 million pixels. And then how many bytes is that going to require? Well, 24 bits is 3 bytes, isn't it? So 8 bits uh, per byte. So what we then do is we take our 2 million and we multiply it by the 3 and we get 6 million bytes. Now at this stage, some people say you need to add 10% for overheads. Is that true? Well, if you've got Windows and you're using Paint, or indeed other operating systems are available, um, then you can quite easily test that. So let's have a look. So what we've got here is um, Paint, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the properties so that the size of the canvas is the same as the one we've just looked at. So 2000 by 1000. So that's the number of pixels. Now, actually, it doesn't matter if you're saving an uncompressed bitmap what the picture actually is. But just so we can see that we've actually saved something, I'm just going to draw myself a lovely picture. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save that as a 24-bit bitmap because that is the type of um, calculation we've just done, 24 bits per pixel. And I'm going to save it in this file folder uh, called Pictures and I'm going to call it Smile. Okay, so that's saved. So how big are we going to expect this image to be? Well, we've predicted that it's going to be 6 million pixels. If the 10% overhead is right, then that's going to be 6,600,000, isn't it? So let's have a look. So here's the file, and Windows is telling me that it's 5,860 kilobytes, but of course Windows uses 1,024. So if we wanted to see um, how many bytes it was, we can go to the properties and it will tell us here what the size of the file is. And it's telling us that file is 6 million and 54 bytes. So it is very slightly bigger than the 6 million we calculated, but certainly not 10% bigger. So why do people say 10% overhead and is that right? Well, there is going to be some metadata in there most likely because if you've got those six, uh, if you've got those two million pixels in there, uh, you'll need to know the height and the width to be able to reproduce the picture correctly. And there may be some additional information in there about the color coding. And if you, this was a photograph, it might have information from the camera, such as uh, shutter speed and aperture. But if you think about it, that amount of information, that information, the quantity of it, isn't going to change if the picture gets bigger. So if you've got a high resolution camera, that doesn't mean the information about the shutter speed takes up any more space. So I'm not convinced uh, about the 10% overhead. But you can try this um, and try it for yourself. Make sure you use an uncompressed format. I mean, the other thing really is that it's quite a, an unrealistic calculation because most picture formats are compressed. Um, you can also do a similar thing with sound. So if you open up Audacity and record yourself um, a bit of sound, look at the sample rate, look at the duration, save it as an uncompressed WAV. You can do a similar sort of calculation and compare um, the file size with what you expect there and see how much of an overhead there is.